Hello to my viewers. My topic today is the application of the seven laws of exponents. By the way, this math is intended for grade 7 and for the basic mathematics in college. This is algebra. Okay, number 1, 3 to the second power times 3 to the fourth power. So I need to copy the base and then add the exponents. 2 plus 4, this will be 3 raised to the sixth power. So what is 3 to the sixth power? So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So this will be 27. And then 27. I need to multiply 27 by 27. So this is 49 carry 4. 14, 18. 14 carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. Bring down 9. 8 plus 4 is 12 carry 1. So I have 729. So that's for number 1. Now let's go for num let's go to number 2. Number 2 is 2 sorry 3 raised to the second power times 5 raised to negative 3. So this will be 3 squared. Take note this is negative so I need to write in the denominator and then the exponent must be positive. So what is 3 to the second power? 3 to the second power is 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. This one, 5 to the third power, so multiply itself 3 times. And we know that this is 125. So the answer for number 2 is 9 over 125. Okay, number 3. Number 3 is 2 to the fifth power times 3 to the 0 power. Take note, this is 0 exponent. When we say 0 exponent, any variable or any number raised to 0 is always equal to 1. So this 1 will become 0. So 2 to the fifth power times 1. So what is 2 to the fifth power? So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is 8 times 2, 16 times 2. So 2 to the fifth power is equal to 32. So this is 32 times 1 is equal to 32. Okay, let's move to number 4. Number 4 is 2 to the third power and then 4 raised to negative 2 power times 5 raised to the third power. So take note, this will be negative exponent. So this will be 2 to the third power times 5 to the third power over this one because this is negative exponent. So this will be 4 raised to second power. So what is 2 to the third power? 2 to the third power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. So this is 8. So 8 times, how about 5 to the third power? 5 times 5 times 5. So this will be 125. So this is 125. And then, our denominator is 4 raised to the second power. So, this will be 16. Okay. To make it easier, so, divide this one by 8. So, then divide this one by 8. This is 1. This is 2. So, 1 times 25, that will be equal to 25. Then, I have here 2. Since this is improper fraction, so I need to simplify. 125 divide by 2 so I use this 12 how many 2 do I have in 12 6 then multiply 12 take away that will be 0 so bring down 5 how many 2 do I have in 5 there are 2 then multiply take away this is 1 so my answer is 62 1 over 2 so that's number 4 now let's move to number 5 Number 5 is 2 to the third power raised to negative 4. So this will be 
multiplication of powers. So I need to multiply the exponents. So this will be 2. 4 times 3, this is negative 12. Since this is negative exponents, so I need to write 1 over 2 to the 12 power. What is 2 to the 12 power? So 12, 12 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 64. So meaning multiply again by 64. What is 64 times 64? So this will be 16 carry 1. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 25. 24 carry 2. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 2 38. So bring down 6, this is 9, this is 10, carry 1. So I have 4,096. So this will be equal to 1 over 4,096. So that's number 5. Now let's move to number 6. Number 6 is brackets 2 to the negative 3 power then 4 to the second power times 2 to the fifth power raised to the third power so I need to write this one brackets since this is negative exponent so this will be the denominator 2 raised to the third power then this will be the numerator because the exponents are positive so this will be 4 to the second power then times 2 to the fifth power okay so this is 3 so the same base we will subtract the exponents so 4 times this will be 2 5 minus 3 this is 5 minus 3 raised to the third power so this will be 4 sorry there is there is 2 to the second power times 5 5 minus 3 is 2 then raised to the third power so what is 4 to the second power that is 16 then how about 5 to the second power so this is 25 and then raised to the third power so let us multiply first 16 by 25 so this is 30 carry 3 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8 this is 12 carry 1 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 3 bring down 0 this will be 10 carry 1 4 so this is 400 400 raised to the third power so what is 400 raised to the third power so meaning we have to multiply 400 three times so 400 times 400 so 16 4 times 4 is 16 I need to copy the four zeros so this will be 160 and then 160 thousand times 400 so to make Short, to make a shortcut computation for this, I need to multiply 16 by 4. 16 times 4 is 64. Then I need to copy all the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tama. So I have 64 million. 64,000. 64, 64 million, I mean. Okay, that's the answer for number uh, five. That's all.